The entire greenhouse establishment has several aspects that make the entire system to work. Uh, the first, of course, the greenhouse structure is made up of polyethylene plastic, which has a longevity, sorry, of at least five years and a particular thickness of at least 200 microns and other properties uh, that would have them based again on that weather. Um, on the sides of the greenhouse you have insect mesh but it's specially treated uh, ultravioletly treated uh, insect mesh which allows for ventilation. Many a times if you find greenhouses in other countries, they're actually being imported. But the, the value that we add with being able to fabricate our own local greenhouses is the fact that they're actually being customized to adapt to the local environment. You would understand that Cameroon is a country with multiple ecological zones, which makes it very, very valuable to be able to adapt a particular design of a greenhouse to that particular location. Most of our crops, they are grown with a just-in-time model, which means that almost every plant like you would find in here already has a market. So at the point of harvest, it already goes directly to the market. We have several markets, uh, be it supermarkets. Uh, we, we also supply uh, to home individuals um, and also to organizations. As we started supplying produce that we grew, more demand came. So we started now production of, of, of produce. Then as we got on now with producing and manufacturing greenhouses, more people became interested in being able to, to acquire more greenhouses for production. And that's how the demand for greenhouse produce also increased. And that's how we're able now to come up with a, a franchise and a partnership model where we could go on some profit sharing mechanism, engage many more people who could be involved in growing several types of produce in many places. It has been actually been able to help us standardize production to a point where a greenhouse in Douala or in Marwa produces the same in terms of value and in terms of quality and quantity. If you are unable to have the right human resource, you'll be unable to produce. And when you're unable to produce consistently, you lose the market. For us to emerge as leaders in the domain of sustainable agriculture, we needed to have led by example. And leading by example is certainly meaning that we are able to put in places processes and procedures that actually cover the entire value chain of food production and in our own particular case of greenhouses and greenhouse ventures. In an environment like this where we have very slow technology adopters, the adoption uh, curve has been quite slow, but uh, the amazing thing is that we have actually succeeded in not only introducing the technology, but making the technology very, very applicable to individuals. So with, with, with the just-in-time method, it makes it possible for us to assure a market before we actually even get to harvest. It is the key to our success and that key is very important because the general way that people do farms is that they farm, they harvest and then they go look for the market. It is always very, very detrimental when you follow that procedure. Why? Because that time the pricing of whatever has been harvested is determined by the market at that point in time. So you find yourself going to the market and not being able to sell and then being able to sell uh, the pittance. Um, in the greenhouse, we have tomatoes that grow up to four meters. So what you would grow outdoors within the greenhouse, it would be about four or five times that particular production. A year you would have about 2.5 harvests, so two and a half. And imagine if each of the 400 plants you have within the greenhouse are giving you an average of two to three kilograms. So you're talking about uh, 800 to 1,200 uh, kilograms uh, per greenhouse.
But of course, we don't just produce everything because the greenhouse can produce. We produce what the market is actually looking for. Uh, in this greenhouse, you would find that we're growing tomatoes and bell peppers within the same greenhouse. And yes, it's because we have a very high demand for tomatoes and bell peppers. In the next house next to me, we have cucumbers and lettuce. And because, of course, we have a demand for lettuce and, and bell peppers. Uh, so we basically, right now, we have a list from bell peppers to cucumbers to lettuce, to beetroots, to uh, strawberries, even flowers in some particular areas.